Hi, my name is Manton. I'm experimenting with a new feature for web page archiving that I wanted to show. To do that, I'm gonna have a web browser open with micro.blog, of course. Also a tab with a test blog that I've created on micro.blog, and also a tab with WordPress. Why WordPress? So I created a test post on WordPress, as a test blog, that has just some text and a photo. Pretty simple. And over on micro.blog, I have this blog post, short, short micro blog post, where I link to the WordPress blog. So I can click on this, and of course, it loads the WordPress web page. Simple. But what happens if inevitably this website goes away? Like, I, I hate to say inevitably, but the fact is, a lot of websites tend to break. Then what do you do when you've been blogging for years and a lot of your links no longer work? So I'm gonna simulate that by actually deleting that post, moved it to the trash in WordPress. So now when I go back to my micro.blog blog post and I click on the WordPress blog, of course it says, can't find it. So that's annoying because this thing I wanted to share with people that might read my blog no longer works. So how can we fix that? And one of the things I thought about is that with Microdoc Blog Premium, we actually have a feature for archiving bookmarks already. If you subscribe to Premium, when you create a bookmark, um, it actually copies and archives the page that you bookmarked uh, and any links in that. And so you can create highlights in them, for example, like I've done here. Uh, I can go and I can click all my on my highlights. I can create new blog posts from them and copy them, search on that sort of thing. That is not what I want to show you. I think I made another video last year about how that works. But what I realized is that we could leverage that to archive pages that you've linked to also. So I'm going to click on posts, and this is that post that I created. Again, if I click on the link, it doesn't work anymore because the WordPress blog went away. I'm going to click edit. And what micro.blog has done behind the scenes, uh, you can see this is a link, this is just a markdown link to this WordPress blog. Behind the scenes, micro.blog has archived that as soon as I posted about it. And down here, it will list any links with the domain name that you have linked to. And it will also include this link, it says archive version. So if I click on this, I see that, hey look, the blog post is still there. Now it's being essentially served for micro.blog, a copy of just this post. And at the top it says archive, when the date was, and the original URL. And micro.blog will also download any CSS, any images in the post. It won't crawl the whole site, just that post, any CSS images it needs, it will archive them all. So this is pretty great. And what it allows me to do then is I have this other little button. You can kind of see where this is going. <laughs> Replace link in draft. So now I can just like click this button. It'll automatically update my blog post to link to the archive version. And I can just hit update post. So I think this has a lot of potential. It's still a little bit experimental. But you can imagine maybe in the future we automatically check links and offer to update them. Not sure. I'm looking for some feedback on that. But I like this idea of there being this almost like a miniature internet archive built into parts of micro.blog to help preserve links when they go away. So thanks so much. Hope you enjoy this feature. Thanks for your support.